In this video, I will share 25 tips and tricks for beginners in GT Online. Every year, millions of new people play GT Online, so for those people, this video will be really helpful. But even if you have been playing GT Online for a while, you can learn a thing or two. There will be timestamps in the description below, and I try to place the tips and tricks in an order that makes sense. Now let's get straight into it. We will start by going into an invite only session. This is a private session where no one can bother you. If you want, you can invite friends. To start one, open your pass menu, go to online, find a new session and select invite only session. You can pretty much do all the beginner stuff in this session. Moving on to the next tips and tricks, they are all about settings. To start, open your pause menu and go to settings. First go to camera and I recommend changing the vehicle camera height to high. By default it will be set to low and I will show the difference between the two. Driving is a lot easier with the high vehicle camera, simply because you can see more of what's happening in front of you. The second setting that you should be changing is your targeting mode. You can't change this setting in online so in order to change it you either have to go back to story mode or open your pause menu, go to online and start creator. It's called rockstar creator if you're on next gen. Wait you are on this screen, open your pause menu again, go to settings and one of the first things that you will see is targeting mode. Now you can either change your targeting mode to free aim or auto aim. By default it will be set to auto aim partial but the best one to start with is auto aim full. This will make the auto lock on with weapons a lot better. While you're at it also turn off vibration. When you did that, go back into an invite only session. Keep in mind that if you go into an online session with a specific targeting mode, everyone in that session will have the same targeting mode, so it's not like you have an advantage with auto aim while the other players have free aim. When you are back in online, open your interaction menu, go to map lip options, jobs and just hide everything. This will make your map a lot more clear and you can easily see everything. This is my map before and after hiding all those jobs. Now open your interaction menu again and go to targeting priority. It's somewhere near the bottom and set it to everyone. This will make it so your auto aim will lock onto everyone. Also friends and crew members so keep that in mind. If you set it to strangers it only locks onto players who you don't know but that doesn't always work. Sometimes you won't be able to lock onto a player who is shooting at you. You also have the attackers option. With this one you can only lock onto players who first shoot at you. If you are the first one getting shot you are already too late. That's also because if you just started playing your health will be low. To quickly regain health so the green bar under your minimap you will need to eat snacks. You can buy snacks in any of these grocery stores on the map. But you can also get them for absolutely free at Simeon's dealership. It's located right over here on the map. You will see some snacks on this table and you can get them for free by pressing right on the d-pad. So how do you eat and drink the snacks? There are two methods. The slower method is through your interaction menu. Then go to inventory, snacks and press x ray to consume them. Your health bar will instantly go up. You can consume them faster if you take cover but you can also take snacks through your weapon wheel. So open your weapon wheel and press up on the d-pad to eat snacks. This is the fast way and you can easily use it in combat. You can steal all kind of cars in GT Online. But did you know there's a way to skip the steal animation? All you have to do is shoot or break the window. Then get in the car and your character won't do the whole breaking glass animation. This is the quickest way to steal cars. A really easy method to get a bunch of free stuff is by spinning the lucky wheel. It's inside the diamond casino and you can find it over here on the map. You first need to get a membership and when you have it you can spin the lucky wheel. You can do this once every 24 hours in real lifetime. You can win the podium car for free, clothing items, RP, chips, cash and discounts. As you can see I was lucky and I won the podium vehicle. If you get chips go to the cashier and trade them in for cash. Also don't forget to claim your 1000 free chips every day while you're at it. This week it's actually triple the amount, so you get 3000 chips for free every day. Now you may ask why is it tripled this week? That brings up the next tip, keep an eye out for the weekly events. I usually cover them on my TikTok. These weekly updates take place every Thursday at 5am EST. In the weekly update there will be game modes, missions and more that will pay double and or triple cash and RP. We also get discounts on random vehicles every week but you shouldn't focus on that at the start. For completing missions to earn some cash you need a couple good weapons. Now most of the weapons in GT Online require a level, but if you go to any ammunition and look at the right side of the wall you will see all these weapons and you don't need to be a specific level for these weapons. I recommend just getting the special carbon rifle when you're starting out. This is the best weapon any are in the game and it's not even that expensive. Noobies often go all the way to an ammunition to buy ammo but there's a really easy and fast method. This got added to the game last year. First open your interaction menu, go to inventory, then to ammo and go once to the left. You can now buy all ammo. Every gun will be filled to the max except for MK2 weapons. Also keep in mind that the higher your shooting stat gets, the more ammo you can have in your guns. 
Now I will show you guys some helicopter spawn locations that can come in handy. There's a helipad over here on the map. It's always helpful to know where helicopters spawn to get from A to B fast. You can also find helicopters over at the airport of course. They can also spawn in at hospitals. Next we have the Meriwether base over here. The better helicopters with rockets will spawn in when you are a higher level, I believe around level 50. When you play GT Online you will get the cops after you a lot, so I will show you how to easily lose the cops. When you are out of their sight, the wanted level stars will start flashing and your minimap will look like this. If you now equip a mask via your interaction menu, so go to style, then to accessories and equip a mask, you will lose one wanted level star. This is really helpful if you have 3 stars because at 3 police helicopters will be activated and with a 2 star wanted level they won't. Another way to easily lose the cops is by going underground. I will show some locations where you can quickly go underground to hide from the cops. First of all at pretty much any metro station. Keep in mind that there can be some cops in here. Another location is at the drain. From this side you can drive inside and here you can see how far it goes. You can also enter this underground area from the other side at the highway. From under here you can also easily get inside the metro tunnels. If you did the GT Online tutorial, you probably got a personal vehicle. A really easy way to repair your vehicle is by just re-requesting it. You can do that via your interaction menu if you go to vehicles and then return personal vehicle to storage. Now select request personal vehicle and it will be delivered brand new. You guys probably know that you can take cover, you can do that by pressing R1 on Playstation or RB on Xbox. But did you know you can switch sides while taking cover? So you can move to the other side of the building while taking cover. You can do that by holding your left analog stick to the right or left, you will look around the corner and then press square or X. This is a mechanic that a lot of players don't know about. Some easy ways to make a lot of money when you are starting out are treasure hunts. There's a treasure hunt to get the navy revolver for example. Once you have completed the whole treasure hunt you will need to kill 50 NPCs with this pistol. You also need a Rockstar Games social club account linked to your own account. You will get $250,000 once you did that. You can get another 250 k by killing 25 NPCs with a stone hatchet. You first have to go to the M on your map. This will start the bounty hunter event for mods. When you have completed all 5 bounty targets you will unlock the stone hatchet. Now you will have $500,000 in total. Another way to make money are time trials. Now you do need some sort of fast vehicle for this so maybe you can't do this yet when you are a low level but when you have a fast bike or car you can complete a time trial every single day and you will get a 100k for it. There are also HSW time trials if you are on next gen. That one will give you 250k but you first need the HSW vehicle. If you complete house time trial you can apply the HSW upgrades on one vehicle for free. There is also a junk energy time trial that you need to do with a bicycle. It will give you $75,000. Lastly we have the RC Bandido time trial which also pays 100k. Don't worry about this one cause you first First need a RC Bandido and an arena to do those. When you have at least $50,000 in your bank account you can already register as a VIP via your interaction menu. When you are a VIP you can go to VIP vehicles and quickly gain access to good vehicles. You can request a Sanchez for example a dirt bike for free and it will spawn nearby. There are also vehicles like the Buzzard Attack Chopper but this one will cost you $25,000. If you have enough money to buy the Buzzard for $1.8 million you can request it for free every time. In this menu you can start a couple VIP works. The best ones that you can do in a private session are Headhunter, Sightseer and Hostile Takeover. All these will pay around $25,000 and you can complete them within 10 minutes. Another thing that I think is really helpful when you are a lower level is a high end apartment. You will have a safe place where you can hide and spawn in, you will have a 10 car garage and you can start all the normal heists. Although not everyone plays these heists anymore you can do the first one with one other player and you will get about 150k. You will also unlock the armored Kuruma which is a pretty good starter car. It's fast, strong and mostly bulletproof but it isn't explosive proof. If you have a high setup invite from Leicester you can also always quickly teleport to your apartment. Speaking about teleporting you can easily fast travel in GT Online. We can do that by changing our spawn location. You can do that through your interaction menu. Go to spawn location and here you can change it. You can set it to your apartment, your garage, last location and more. When you have multiple properties you can change your spawn location and then find a new session. You will now spawn wherever you set it to and this way you can fast travel.
If you decide to buy an office or if you have selected one through the career builder, you can call your assistant to retrieve your personal vehicle when it's impounded. It can get impounded by the police if you die while having a wanted level. By calling your assistant and requesting your personal vehicle from the impound, you don't have to go all the way to the impound and you won't have to go through the hassle. You may find yourself in a situation where you are stuck on a mountain or anywhere where it's steep to get up. If you just try to run up to it, you will fall down, but if you pull out a pistol and aim, you can run up to way steeper hills and areas. That's just a quick tip. Once you applied all those tips and tricks, you should have some money and a higher level, so lastly I recommend getting the Oppressor Mark II. You first have to buy a nightclub and a terabyte in order to get it, but it's the best vehicle in the game. It will cost you around 10 million in total, but you can work towards it. It's a flying bike with homing missiles and it's fast, so it's the perfect vehicle to do missions with and to get from A to B real quick. I really hope this video helped you out and I will catch you in the next one. Bye bye!